So I'm laying down the grass on my Kennesaw Mountain National Battlefield painting here. And as you can see, I have various little splotches laid down of different shades that I've mixed. Um, if you don't have a color mixing chart, I highly recommend it. I, I know colors pretty well, but it still always helps me. Um, so there's some of the shades that I have. Um, just take a look at the brush I have, um, see if that'll focus in. I've got a few different brushes I like to use, but yeah, it's not going to focus on this, I don't think, here. If you get one of those brushes that are... Goodness, why won't it focus on here? If you get a brush that is like, got those fuzzy little edges, there you can see them if I hold it away against the white. You see those fuzzy little edges? Don't throw them out. These are the best brushes for shrubs and grass that you could possibly ask for. So, <clears throat> you know, you're gonna get your foundation color laid down. Just look at what your undertones are and then lay down such various patches because grass does not grow in straight lines. It's kind of patchy here, patchy there. And then you're gonna go start filling in Let's see if I can come up above here. Just start filling in. Looky here. Let me see if we can get you back up there. Just start. Just kind of lightly blend in between those patches. See it? See there? See the little grassy? There they are. See the little grassy pieces showing? All right, so here we are. When you come back down, you don't want to go completely through this part here because you want your dark and light variations. So I just kind of come under. See, lay it down in kind of like some little rows, but not too neat a rows. It should be inconsistent. Let's see here, this one I have a little bit more fun with. And as I get closer, let me see if I can show you what I'm going to do as I get closer a little bit on this side here. I'm not, I'm not quite there yet. I'm going to work my way down because, you know, you want to see from when you're standing back, the grasses, blades of grass, are going to cover the ones behind. So I like to work my way down from the top of my scene. And I haven't painted grass in quite some time, so I'm pretty pleased with how this is coming along. See that? You can kind of give your little wispies, show your blades of grass there. So as you get closer, these little things I did here, you're going to want to make bigger. So let me see if I can zoom in on this right here. Aha, there it goes. Man, I don't want to forget this guy. Okay, now this is getting pretty close, so. Let me see if I can come up here and show you. I may want to grab a bigger brush. A bigger brush will do this for me much easier. See there? Now see, now I have my depth. Okay, so you know, smaller in the back. Work it a little bit more as you get in the front, not too much. And you can go highlight, add a little yellow ochre to your sap green or whatever green mixture you may have. And some grasses are more blue, some are more gold. I've lived in a few different climates. Um, I love Kentucky bluegrass, it's the prettiest. I wish we had it down here, but I don't care to live in that cold of a climate anymore. And then these are gonna be shorter because these big patches are gonna have your longer, longer grass. And I may even go make this one here stand out a little bit more later on. here. I'll work this guy in first. And I'm breaking my rule here so I can't really show you too much more right now without showing you the whole entire painting but see I'm gonna have to go back up now because I don't want to uh, there we are infringe on the yeah and I like how those greens and reds are blending but not too much so you can still see it showing through. There we are. Okay, stay tuned. I should have this painting done soon and uh, photographed in a few days when it's dry and in better light so we don't get all the shine that you're getting off of my studio lamp right now. But this is Kennesaw Mountain National Battlefield. 
If you've never been here and you're in Marietta, Georgia, you can uh, go into a visitor center that is actually tucked away in over here. I took it out just because I wanted to see just the natural beauty. And you could drive up most of the year. Other times it will be a little trolley that takes you up or you can walk. If you have good knees, all the way up to the top. It's pretty neat. So I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for visiting tinasfinearts.com.